Assalamu alaikum and good day to all of you, my dear students. This is video two about scalar product. In this tutorial, we will discuss properties of that product, metric relations in a triangle, determination of cosine of angle between two vectors. As a reminder of what we did in video one about scalar product, you can check the following chart. Now, if M is the midpoint of any segment BC and A is any point in this plane, then we can write the sum of the vectors having the same origin A, AB vector, AC vector equal double AM vector. This is known as median and vectors. Properties. If UV and W are any three vectors in the plane, then we can write that the dot product between U and V is equal the product of v and u. u dot the sum of v and w equals the dot product of u and v plus dot product of u and w. In words, this means that scalar product is commutative and scalar product is distributive. Here is other two properties. Metric relation. In triangle ABC, if M is the midpoint of segment AB and H is the orthogonal projection of C on AB, then please help me find the difference between the squares of the vectors A and B. Yes, you know this from before. It is nothing but the difference of the two vectors dot the sum of the two vectors. What is A vector minus B vector? It's AB vector. Good. What's the sum of the vectors A and B? Good, again, it's median and vector. It's double of the vector CM. Excellent. Now, what can we say about the vector CM? Can we write it as a sum of two vectors, one on the direction of vector AB and one orthogonal to the vector AB? Yes. CM equals CH plus HM. Distributing the dot product, we will get AB vector dot HM vector, double HM vector, thus metric relation. Now in the adjacent figure, I would like you to find the exact measure of segment AB. Yes, if it was a right triangle, then it would be easy. Then how can we find it in another way? Let's write vector AB as CB vector minus CA vector. Good. Now let's square both sides. Yes, CB minus CA squared is another remarkable identity. Now distribute what will happen. CB squared plus CA squared minus double the dot of CA dot CB. Good. I have the value of CB. I have that of CA and the double of dot to product. Can we find the dot product between two vectors? Of course, it's nothing but the magnitude of CA times that of CB times the cosine of the angle. So we can got, get it. Okay, can you find now C? This is called general Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is used for right triangles, whereas general Pythagoras theorem with the aid of dot product can be used in any triangle. Knowing two sides, one angle included between them, we can definitely find the third side. Application. Please, my dear students, stop the video here, grab a pen and a paper to find the exact values of A and B in each of the following cases. From here, you can find the values of A and B. Another application. Dot product using length is only. If we need to find the dot product of the vectors A and B, only if we know the measure of the sides of triangle ABC. By now, you know the general Pythagoras theorem states that the side C squared 
equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus double the dot product between the two vectors a and b. Manipulating this formula, we'll get a vector dot b vector equals, now you try it if you have the measure of the sides. Try with a dot c, b dot c. Cosine of angle between two vectors. We already found the geometric form of the dot product of two vectors. Manipulating this formula, we'll get the value of the cosine between the two vectors as the ratio of the dot product between the vectors to the product of their magnitudes. As an application, in triangle ABC, we have the dot product of the two vectors BA and BC. Now calculate cosine of alpha. As an application, consider ABCD to be a square of side 4 cm where E and F are respective midpoints of segments AB and BC. Now please stop the video, grab a pen and a paper and try to solve these parts. Answers. Now to find the segments ED, EC and FD, you may use Pythagoras theorem.